What's up guys, now in the past I've used both MailChimp as well as MailerLite and today I do want to compare both of these tools side by side so that by the end you can make an educated guess on which one to choose. Because in my opinion there actually is a clear winner, so stay tuned for that. First off I do want to mention that you can get a 30 day free trial of MailerLite and a 30 day free trial of MailChimp by using the links down below. I will also leave you links to beginner tutorials regarding these tools. Now first off let's get started with MailChimp. Now MailChimp was actually my first email marketing tool and I think it was basically the first email marketing software out there which and which back then was really advanced. Now as you can see their tagline now is turn emails and SMS into revenue and when looking at their products, so basically their solutions and services, you can see that besides email marketing they do also offer websites, social media marketing, SMS marketing, marketing automation, basically they do offer all sorts of different features and kind of basically MailChimp kind of more involved into an all-in-one marketing suit. Now one big downside of MailChimp is their insanely high pricing but more on that in just a second. Now when looking at the MailChimp dashboard, oh let me quickly put in my password. Now when looking at the MailChimp dashboard, um, some people really love it, some people don't. I'm kind of in between, I think the dashboard is okay, don't get me wrong. Um, it isn't super complicated or anything like that. I just don't like the overall aesthetic of it. I think some things they just try to make overly playful and some things don't really make sense inside right here, but it is definitely an okay dashboard. Now when looking at MailerLite, now basically the name already suggests it, but MailerLite kind of is a tool more tailored towards everything regarding email marketing. So with MailerLite you're going to get all of the essential email marketing features and not any other stuff like for example um, audience ma like for example social media marketing okay um, MailerLite kind of really tries to focus on what is best for email marketing and I think they really do that in a good way when looking at their dashboard I think MailerLite probably is one of the beginner friendliest and easiest to learn email marketing tools out there as you can see you do have your campaigns tab on the on the left right here you can also easily create email marketing campaigns um, within the drag and drop editor I I actually also like the editor of MailerLite uh, quite a lot more than the one on MailChimp. So when for example editing this right here, um, you can see that this is how the editor is going to look like. You can just drag anything onto this, you can change this, you can change the text and so on. And overall I just like this way more than MailChimp. Um, you're also going to have uh, other tabs right here. You're going to have in-depth analytics of your subscribers, open rates and so on. And also with MailerLite you're going to get automations right inside the free plan which is one big upside. And let's actually look at the pricing for that. Let's for example say you do have 10,000 contacts. Let's actually also open up the MailChimp pricing right here. Um, and one of the reasons why I've actually switched from MailChimp to another software was the high pricing. Now when looking at the MailChimp pricing right here, for 10,000 contacts, as you can see, you do have three different pricing plans. First off, I do have to say, I think the Essentials plan quite honestly just is a scam. You're going to be highly limited when it comes to monthly email send. You can only add up to four journey points onto your uh, automations, which also just this brain that if you ask me, you aren't going to have AI features, you are only going to have free seats available, you are only going to have free audiences and a lot of other pretty weird stuff. So I think it's more fair of actually uh, looking at the standard plan, which is going to cost you 100 bucks per month. When looking at MailerLite for the growing business plan, this is going to cost you at 65 bucks per month, both looked at uh, on the yearly option right here. For this you will have unlimited monthly emails, unlike on MailChimp. For this you have free user seats, 24-7 email support, you can even sell digital products and you have a lot of other stuff right here. You're going to have unlimited websites, unlimited landing pages, an unsubscribe page builder and a lot of other stuff. And the email automation builder right here, which on MailChimp you would have to go for the standard plan or even for the premium plan. Um, Basically this feature is going to be on the free plan on MailerLite. And when looking at, uh, at the advanced plan right here, this is going to cost you 99 bucks. And this is then basically going to have unlimited everything. Unlimited user seats, uh, smart sending, Facebook integrations, and a lot of other stuff. So MailerLite is actually 
quite more cheap than MailChimp. However, you will have to also take into consideration that MailChimp is, offer, is going to offer some more features than MailerLite. So if, in my opinion, if you're looking for an all-in-one marketing tool, don't go for MailChimp, you're just going to waste your time. Go for ActiveCampaign right here. This is by far the best all-in-one marketing tool. However, if you're looking for an easy to use email marketing software, which most likely has 90% of all features which you actually need, then go for MailerLite. I will leave you links to all three of these tools down below. Either way, I hope this video was helpful. I will see you in the next one.